In this tutorial, I will teach you how to switch between different installed versions of Node on your machine using something called NVM. Okay, so this is the GitHub page for NVM, it stands for Node Version Manager. This is different from NPM that we saw earlier, and we're gonna revisit again, which doesn't stand for Node Package Manager. It's a long story, we will cover it when we get there but this is different from NPM, right? This is NVM, this is Node Version Manager. And yes, this is not confusing at all. Great choice of names, but this is what it is. So what Node Version Manager lets you do is manage various versions of Node on your machine. So if you're just starting out on Node.js and you don't have other code to run, right? You're starting writing your first line of code and then that's all that you're gonna be running. You don't necessarily need to do this. You can stick to the latest version and everything is fine. But if you need to work on other people's code and they have certain compatibility issues, so let's say you're working on a piece of code which requires a certain version of Node which is not latest, then you're in trouble. You're gonna have to switch and alternate between versions of Nodes. You're gonna have to uninstall, install the other version, use a piece of code, uninstall and install the newer version for some other piece of code. It's a little bit of a pain. So that's where Node Version Manager comes in. Node Version Manager lets you switch the installed, current installed version of Node so that you can choose an older version if you like, right? So this is how you use it. So here there is a command which lets you get the install script and then you can execute it on your terminal. Like so, it is going to download and if you're starting if you're executing this on a new Mac, for example, which doesn't have git installed, it will ask you to install the command line developer tools, all right? So you click install and uh, it's gonna find and download it. So this is something that's available with Mac package manager. So it's gonna download and install it from Apple. This is only because you don't have git out of the box with the newer Macs. If you have git, it's probably not gonna ask you this. Okay, so the developer tools installation completed and so I'm gonna try that same command again. And now it should be able to download the code. Now here's another thing it does. It actually tries to set up the commands to initialize NVM in your bash profile or bash RC file. If it doesn't find it, it gives up and says, hey, I couldn't find any of those files. You're gonna to have to do it yourself. I'm showing this because this is what a, a, a clean slate Mac is gonna look like. So here's what it's saying. It says, profile not found. Try bash RC, bash profile, ZHS, ZSHRC, and dot profile. None of those files were found. So I don't know where to put these commands. So it's basically saying, hey, can you please put this yourself? So what I'm gonna do is copy these two commands, and then I'm going to create a dot bash rc file myself and i'm going to paste these commands and then save it and now i can close this terminal open a new one and then i can run the nvm dash v well that didn't quite work by sourcing it so that will usually all the problem, there you go. So if this is not working for you, just type the command source dot bash rc, right? So tilde slash dot bash rc so is basically forcing the terminal to execute what's in your bash rc. So now we have nvm installed, and now it's pretty simple to use nvm to install node, okay? So you can run this command here. Here's the usage section, nvm install node, basically just installs the latest version of Node. However, you can choose an older version, nvm install, and then the version number, and then it is going to install that current version number, all right? So let me try that out. I'm gonna install this really super old version of Node, which is 6.14.4, okay? So when it does this, after you're done, if I were to type node-v, I'm gonna get that older version of Node. So I've essentially switched the version of Node on my machine to that older version without having to download, find the installer and all that nonsense. So 
what I can do now is uh, switch to the latest version. NVM install node is gonna find the latest version and then install it. All right, so this is gonna be the newer version now. There are a couple more options. You have uh, NVM ls-remote, which gets you all the available versions that you can choose from. And then, um, yeah, there are a bunch more. I'm not gonna go into the details, but this is how you actually switch between different versions of Node on your machine without having to go through the pain of installing it and uninstalling it and all that stuff. So if you're working on multiple projects, which require multiple versions of Node, this is the way to go, all right? If not, just the standard installer, either using the installer from the website or using Homebrew or Chocolatey or any of those other programs should work just fine. All right, so now that we have Node installed on our machine, I'm gonna show you something really cool that you can do with Node, which is called the Node Ripple, right? So the R-E-P-L, Read, Eval, Print, Loop program lets you actually write Node programs without even opening a text editor. Let's check that out in the next tutorial.